Hey fellow travelers, it's Angry Turtle and my another No Man's Sky video and in this video I want to show you where I found my first S-Class exotic ship. It's really cute, little one, I really like it and I was totally unaware first time when I found it that it's that it's actually good and it's actually the ship but it's because I found it underwater and I will show you exactly where. Uh, I know that coordinates can be accessed in the photo mode then I will show you coordinates and then you'll be able to get into the same spot using the portal and some coordinates that I will give you at least I think it's how it works uh, based on what I learned during my live stream but first thing first uh, we are here in, I don't know if this will be helpful but I will show you on the map that's that's the system we are in it's Kuduran Ori 3 that's my current location and galactic Euclid galaxy. I don't know if it's possible to somehow like show coordinates here, but let's jump on the planet. And if you don't know, after you are in the atmosphere, your starship will show you coordinates you are at, and those coordinates can be then used to get exactly when you need to be. Now you can see my coordinates already. It's on the huge bottom left side, it, where it says angry title 65542 42 and we need to go to 720 40 11 then it's not far from in here and if you notice like i will quickly explain your coordinates uh, when you rotate around like like let's say we'll go directly north if we go directly north then as you can see the first number is going up and the second number is staying still if we turn to the right and we'll be going directly east then the second number will be going up and the first number will stay still when if i will be able to aim exactly at east and so on so forth if i will be aiming south directly south then first number will be going down and second number will stay unchanged and thanks to that you can find any coordinate on the map any exact spot if you have those coordinates but now to the point As you can see, 7, 20, 40, 11, it's this little island and we want to sit in here because the crashed starship is underwater. Now, unfortunately, after you exit the starship, there is no coordinates anywhere on the screen. Then you just need to know where to look. And in our case, we'll just need to go and swim toward this planet that you can see over there. That's exactly, almost exactly west from this island. And you just jump and swim. And we swim directly west. It's really close to this little island. It's why I'm giving you coordinates for this little island. And here down on the bottom, you can see it. That's the Crash Starship Exotic S-Class. And I think it will be S-Class for everyone because I grabbed one from in here. I'm back in the same spot. And the fresh one, like respawn, I don't know what's the exact respawn time and how this works, but it's again, the exactly the same one as I grabbed. And if you want one that's exactly the same as mine, you can see it, it's in here if I compare it it's S-Class and I have the same one but already upgraded and it is S-Class exotic ship. It's worth 12 million even though it's crashed. And here I open the photo mode. You can see the coordinates for this exact, exact planet or star system. It's some, something like that on the left hand side, all those on the bottom left hand side on the bottom all those different figures those are actually a coordinates and i will soon unlock ability to use those portals myself i'm not there therefore i cannot jump anywhere but there are portals on the planet huge portals that allow you to travel insane distance in no time and what i know so far you just need those coordinates and then you can use them and go anywhere and to be honest i was so noob when I first discovered it that I had no idea what I found and I can actually show you that uh, from the live stream. I will show you a quick clip from the live stream. What's that? Distress beacon. Someone need help? 
Okay, let's go for this cargo drop and this distress beacon. So I still need one crystal sulfide. It's not showing on my radar anywhere. Oh, that kind of a submarine? It's a cool submarine. I need to fix it. Oh. Submarine or Starship? S-Class ZH-1 Heva Des. What's that? It look cool. It look like underwater stuff, but it's a Starship. Oh, I compare. I need to claim it. Claim ship. It's what kind of a ship is it? Oh, exotic. What is exotic ship? It's not fighter. It's not any other. It's exotic. This ship is underwater. It's exotic ship. Claim the ship. Can I go into it underwater? And. That's how I found it. Yeah, I, I really was thinking that that's a submarine. I had no idea you had find a starship underwater. And what's interesting, you just need to fix this one engine in order to take it and sell them. If you are noob like me and you will find something like that, always take it even if you don't want to keep it, just sell it or scrap it on the space station. As you can see, to, to fix the engine, you just need one hermetic seal and one metal plating. And metal plating, just a little bit of ferrite dust. And hermetic seal is just 30 condensed carbon. Okay, I delivered it to the space station. I don't want to keep it because I already have one like that. Let's see if it's worth it to scrap ship like that. I don't know how much I will get, but let's check it out. There is a scrap station. Let's see how much they will pay me for that. All right, let's see. A claim scrap worth four million seven hundred, four million six hundred thousand. Yeah, I want to confirm. Oh, I get S class mod. Then I think it's worth it. S class mods are worth some nanites, and a lot of junk and a lot of units. You see that? That what I got? Pulse engine S class module. I will actually keep it. I can use it later, it's worth 480 units, but I think they meant nanites. Yeah, if I will choose to sell it, it's almost 500 nanites. And that's everything that I wanted to show you in this video from No Man's Sky. Thank you a lot for watching. If you play the game, I hope you enjoy it. And I do, and I'm reading all your comments and all your tips and tricks. Thanks to that, I'm progressing so fast in this game. And now, as always, Thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.